YouTube. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I know I am. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a quick and easy way for you to manifest your soulmate. So if you want to know how to find the love of your life, just keep following this video and follow my tips. So it's time to manifest. What is manifesting? You might ask. Manifesting is writing out or thinking of your dream list. You can manifest anything you want, including your soulmate. So for this example, we're going to say that my soulmate's name is Duke. Duke is amazing. Duke is great. Duke is mine. How do I get Duke into my life? Okay. So step one, you're going to want to grab a pen and a piece of paper and you're going to write out everything about Duke. We are talking, how tall is Duke? What does he like to do for fun? What does he look like? What does he drive? What does he wear? How many languages does he speak? You can even write down how much money he makes, what charities he gives to, if he's a dog person or a cat person, maybe he's a gerbil person doesn't matter. Whatever you want Duke to be like, write it down and be as specific and have as much fun with it as you possibly can. So now that we know who Duke is, and I'll insert a picture of Duke right here, keep on going. All right. I have figured out who my perfect mate is. I, I could spot him from across the room. What's next? Well, now I need to start putting myself in environments in which I will find Duke. Where does he like to go? What does he like to do? What are his favorite activities? Grab that pen and paper and write down your ideal, I'd say four or five dates, like down to the T. What are you wearing? What is he wearing? What do you order to drink? Every little thing. And once you have that decided and written down, do it. So if that means that you have to grab your girlfriends or you go by yourself, go do those things. Go sit at that restaurant and order that wine and order that food or go on that hike, take that spin class, do the yoga, whatever it is. If you like making pottery, go to a pottery class. Because once you start putting yourself in those situations, the person that you have manifested will be in those places. I mean, if a guy loves coffee and I start going to a whiskey bar, chances are I'm not going to find him. But if he loves wine and I start going to wine tastings, the chances are much higher that I'm going to run into him and that he'll see me and I'll see him and we'll fall in love. So that's what you got to start doing. Okay? Okay. So last step, and this is, I would say probably the most important step. Step is getting yourself in a position to welcome that person into your life. If you were to look at your life right now, are you in the place that you want to be when you are in this relationship? That can mean a lot of things. For me, it meant looking around my physical environment with where I lived and how I lived and seeing if it matched up with the type of person I wanted to be when I was in a relationship. So I had to make sure that my room was clean. My bed had space for someone else to be sleeping next to me. If you've got magazines and dirty dishes and, you know, the remote control, the kitchen sink, empty bottles right next to you in bed, where, where is your man supposed to sleep? You know, if you want to be doing all of these fantastic adventure journeys and be healthy 
and live a life of health, but you're ordering skip the dishes, Postmates every day, and you haven't dusted off your running shoes or workout shoes in two years, chances are you're not in alignment to meet your person. So you don't need to transform overnight, but start making the moves and moving yourself up into a place, into a frequency where you're ready to meet your person because they're there. They're just waiting for you. And you know what? Chances are they're probably doing the exact same things that you're doing right now. They're writing down their list and their list has everything about you on there. They are starting to figure out, well, where would I go? What would we do? And they're starting to plan out their dates. And if they're like, okay, these are the things I need to start doing in my life so that I can be the best possible version of myself so that I can be with the person I'm meant to spend the rest of my life with, they're working on themselves. So don't worry about rushing it. Don't worry uh, if the, you're gonna miss it, because you're not. Because like I said, this person is the person who is meant for you. So have fun with it. Take your time, pour yourself a big old glass of wine or a cup of tea or maybe some lemon water and really like get down and dirty with what it is that you really want and who it is you really want, who it is that you want to become so that you are whole and ready to meet that person. Because let me tell you, if you're looking for someone to complete you, it's never gonna happen. You're looking for someone to compliment you, someone to go along on the adventures with you. You're not looking for someone to save you. So, that's it. If you guys like this video, please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.